Hello, my name is Sakari Lehtinen. Welcome to using IFC in Navisworks IFC Colors. In this tutorial, I will show you how you can enhance your Navisworks IFC workflow by using the IFC Colors. If you don't already have SimplePim, please get your free trial now from datacubist.com. You might have noticed that most of the IFC files are imported gray into the Navisworks. It doesn't actually mean that you couldn't use the IFC colors in Navisworks. It simply means that Navisworks is unable to read the colors from IFC in their current form. No worries, you can use SimplePim to correct this. Here's my original sample model in Navisworks. It's gray and a little bit hard to read. Now let's go to SimplePim and correct this. Here's the same IFC model in SimplePim. It's not gray. All I need to do is to make sure that the legacy colors are included in my export settings. I do an export Go back to Navisworks and refresh the model. Voila! What if you wanted to set your own colors? That can be also done in SimpleBeam, either manually or by using templates. First, let's do it manually. I go to SimpleBeam, I select some objects from the 3D either one by one, using the area selection, quick select, or using the properties palette. Once I have the objects I want to color selected, I go to my 3D tab and click on set object colors. The color dialog will open. Choose a color and click OK. The selected objects get their color. Even more effective way is to use templates. I have created a special template for my sample model here. The colors are defined here in the model view tab. Also I have set the legacy color setting, export setting in the info tab. I applied the template and the objects get their colors by building story. If you don't already know how to control colors with the templates, please check the dedicated SimpleBeam tutorial. OK, one more export and back to Navisworks. I refresh and see how the objects get their new colors by building story. The colors will make the model easier to read. They are a great way to emphasize a certain point of view to the design data. It's now time for you to try it. Please make sure to check other SimpleBeam tutorials from our website or SimpleBeam YouTube channel. Thank you for watching. See you next time.